Let's send it now to Paul Gessler with incumbent Marilyn Mosby. Paul. Rick, we're a couple miles away from Stetson's location there covering Ivan Bates. We're here at Northwood Elementary School in Northeast Baltimore. Marilyn Mosby just left. She spent about a half hour here at this polling location that has three precincts, and she just left. And it is still a buzz with voters coming in and out. You still have a few hours left to cast your ballot. She started today, did Miss Mosby, at Forest Park Senior Citizen Center in West Baltimore. She made several stops, including at Fort Worthington Elementary in East Baltimore. She will host a watch party with supporters in Waverly when polls close here and statewide at 8 o'clock. Thank you for holding me down. Y'all ready? Marilyn Mosby speaks to supporters and voters seeking her second reelection to Baltimore City's state's attorney's office. Facing the same two opponents she beat in 2018, Ivan Bates and Theroux Vignaraja, Mosby also has the cloud of a federal case against her this time around. She's facing federal charges of perjury and falsifying information on a mortgage application. Mosby touts her record freeing those falsely accused and her office no longer prosecuting certain low-level nonviolent offenses. She's been the target of criticism from the city's police union as well after she brought charges against the officers involved in Freddie Gray's arrest. Although her office did not secure convictions, she says that case brought reform. Running on my record, I think it speaks for itself. We have to continue to change lives and to make America live up to its ideals of justice and equality for everybody. That's what this election is all about whether we're going to continue to move forward or we're going to move backwards. Back live now, Miss Mosby faces voters today, but win or lose this primary, she's set to face a jury in September. She has pleaded not guilty to those federal charges. Meanwhile, coming up in the next hour, we'll take you inside this polling place, show you the beautiful Northwood Elementary School and the three precincts with voters casting ballots at this location today. For now, reporting live in Northeast Baltimore, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.